What's up everyone and welcome back to another new comic book day previews video. I'm your host AR Comics and in today's video I'm going to be going over all the new releases for new comic book day October 27th 2021. In today's video I'm going to be going over all the new releases, variant covers, and any sort of important info to help you guys decide which issues you're going to be picking up this week. But before I get started off on these new books, if you are new to the channel, I drop weekly comic book content that's going to keep you up to date on all the latest releases. So if you don't want to miss out on that, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and a little bell to get notified every time I drop new content, you won't regret it. And now without further ado, let's get started on all the new comics this week. So I hope you all are having a fantastic day so far today. If you haven't already seen my latest top 10 video from last week's new comic book day, I'm going to be linking it down low in the description. So after this video, make sure you go check that one out and make sure you stick around to the very end of the video because that's when I talk about my latest giveaway and you do not want to miss out on that. And as always, before I get into this list, just be aware a lot of these times, some of these smaller indie publisher schedules, they do change up. Some of these books I'm going to be mentioning aren't actually going to be coming out. Some of them get pushed back. Some of them get moved forward. Once it gets a little bit closer to new comic book day just check with your else to see which ones are actually going to be coming out so to kick this list off first i'm going to be going over awa upshot and they've got two coming out the first one is marjorie finnegan temporal criminal issue number six and this one only has a cover a the only other one that they've got this week is moths issue number five and same thing this one only has a cover a as well so moving on to aftershock next the first one i have today is out of body issue number five and for those of you reading this this is the series finale and this one only has a cover a moving on to the next one we have a brand new series coming out. It's Cross the Bear, issue number one. This is cover A, the main. We've got a 1 in 15 incentive variant, and now finally a Hal Lauren incentive variant. Next one from them today is just a one shot, but we've got After Dark, issue number one. This is cover A, the main cover, and followed up with that, we've got a 1 in 10 incentive variant. Moving on, we have Search for Hugh, issue number two, and this one only has a cover A. So the final one coming out from Aftershock this week is Camp PC. The Dragon Incident, issue number three, and same thing, this one only has a cover A as well. Next publisher on my list this week is Archie Comics, and they have one brand new story coming out. It's Betty and Veronica, Jumbo Comics Digest, issue number 298, and this one only has a cover A. Next up today, I've got Scout Comics, and the first one they have is Cherry Blackbird, issue number four. This is cover A, the main cover for it. Next one on my list this week is By the Horns, issue number seven, and same thing, this one only has a cover A as well. So continuing on with Scout Comics, we have a brand new series coming out. It's Provenance of Secrets, issue number one. This is cover A, the main cover, and followed up with that, we've got a 1 in 10 incentive variant. Moving on to the next one, we have a brand new arc to the series. It's North Bend, issue number one. This is cover A, the main, and followed up with that, we've got a 1 in 10 COTS incentive variant. Moving on to Absolute Comics Group, they have one brand new series coming out. It's kind of a spinoff off the one they already have, but it's Blood Widow, issue number one. This is cover A, the main. We've got a cover B, Tyndall Virgin Metallic Ink variant, and now finally a cover C, Lenticular variant. Moving on to Xenoscope today, we have Grim Fairy Tales, issue number 53. This is cover A, the main cover. We've got a cover B variant a cover C variant, and now finally a cover D variant. The only other one they're coming out with is Myths and Legends Quarterly, issue number five. This is cover A the main, We've got a cover B variant, and now finally a cover C variant. Next up today, I've got Oni Press, and the first one they have is Jonah and the Unpossible Monsters, issue number 7. This is cover A, the main cover, and followed up with that, we've got a cover B, Young variant. The only other one they have this week is Kaiju Max, season 6, issue number 4, and this one only has a cover A. Moving on to this next publisher, we have a Blaze, and they have one issue coming out. It's Space Pirate Captain Harlock, issue number 5. This one has 8 different covers, so if you are new to the segment, usually when there's a lot of covers like this, I only go over cover A and I just cover some of the other ones that I really like, but be sure to check the rest of them out online. This is cover A, the main cover. We've got a cover D variant and now finally a cover E variant. Moving on to Heavy Metal next, they have one coming out and it's Heavy Metal, issue number 311. This is cover A, the main cover, and followed up with that, we've got a cover B, Lestrani variant. Moving on to this next publisher, we have Valiant, and they have one brand new series coming out. It's Harbringer, issue number one. This one has multiple first appearances, and it does have six different covers. This is cover A, the main. We've got a cover C, Chris Delera variant, and now finally a cover D, Scott variant. Continuing on with some of these small indie publishers, we've got Red 5, and they have one brand new series coming out. It's Merlin and Hector, issue number one, and this one only has a cover A. Moving on to It's Alive, the only one they have this week is Airboy, issue number 52. This one has seven different covers. This is cover A, the main. 
We've got a cover E variant and now finally a cover F variant. Next publisher I have on my list this week is Antarctic Press and the first one today is Horror Comics issue number 8 and this is the end of the arc and this one only has a cover A. Moving on we have Gold Digger issue number 290 and this one also only has a cover A. So continuing on with Antarctic Press we have Exciting Comics issue number 17 and this is cover A the main cover for it. Next one I've got on my list this week is Jungle Comics issue number 5 and same thing as the other ones this one only has a cover A as well. So continuing on we have Cat Shit 1 volume 3. Three, issue number one, and this is cover A, the main cover for it. The final one coming out from Antarctic Press this week is Cookie and the Kid, issue number four, and same thing as the rest of them, this one only has a cover A. Next up from Behemoth Comics, they have one coming out, and it's Turbo Kid, Apple's Lost Adventure, issue number two. This is cover A, the main. We've got a cover B variant, and now finally, a cover C variant. Continuing on to Action Lab Comics, they have Bigfoot Frankenstein, issue number two, and this one only has a cover A. Next up, I have Black Mask Studios, and they have one brand new series coming out. It's God Killer, Spider-Land, issue number one. This one has five different covers. This is cover A, the main. This is the 1 in 15 incentive variant, and now finally we have a 1 in 30 incentive variant. So continuing on to Source Point Press, the first one today is Unborn, issue number two. This is cover A, the main cover. We've got a cover B, Ragazzoni variant, and now finally a Rudy A.O. variant. I highly suggest checking this one out. The first issue was awesome. It kind of gave me Alien mixed with the Thing vibes. It's written by Frank Gogol, so it's an absolute must-have in my opinion. Moving on, we have Runes issue number four, and this one only has a cover A. So continuing on with Source Point Press, we have Touching Evil issue number 18, and same thing as Runes. This one only has a cover A. I talk about it all the time. This is a series I really wish I was reading. If you're reading Touching Evil, let's talk about about it more down low. So moving on, the next one today is Suicide Jockeys, issues number three. This is cover A, the main cover, and followed up with that, we've got a cover B, Alves and Ferriera variant. The final one coming out from Source Point Press is a brand new series. We've got Winchester, Mystery House, issue number one. This is cover A, the main cover, and followed up with that, we've got a cover B variant. So moving on, next one today is American Mythology Productions, and the first one they have is a one-shot. It's Victor Crowley's Hatchet, Halloween Tales, number three. This is issue number one from this. This is cover A, the main. We've got a cover B variant, a cover C variant, and now finally a cover D variant. Next one from them is Zoro Flights, issue number two. This is cover A, the main. We've got a cover B, and now finally a cover C variant. Moving on, we have Pelia Cider, Across Savage Seas, issue number two. This is cover A, the main, and followed up with that, we've got a cover B variant. The final one from American Mythology this week is Techno Freak, issue number two. This is cover A, the main, and followed up with that, we've got a cover B variant. Moving on to Vault Comics next, the first one today is a brand new series. It's called The Rush, issue number one. This one has seven different covers. This is cover A, the main. We've got a 1 in 5 incentive variant, and now finally a 1 in 10 incentive variant. The next one they have this week is Human Remains, issue number 2. This is cover A, the main, and followed up with that, we've got a cover B variant. The final one from Vault this week is Heavy, issue number 8. This is cover A, the main, and followed up with that, we've got a cover B, Daniel variant. Next publisher on my list this week is Second Sight Publishing. They've got four different comics coming out. The first one is Menagerie, issue number 2. This is cover A, the main, and followed up with that, we've got a cover B variant. Moving on, we have Blood, Skulls, and Chrome, issue number three. This is cover A, the main cover, and followed up with that, we've got a cover B variant. Continuing on with Second Sight, we have Book of Lyaxia, issue number four, and this one only has a cover A. So the final one coming out from them this week is The Edge, issue number three, and same thing as Book of Lyaxia, this one only has a cover A. Next small publisher I've got this week is Mad Cave Studios. The first one is Wolven Heart, issue number eight. This is cover A, the main cover, and followed up with that, we've got a cover B variant. The only other one they have this week is Battle Cats, issue number four, and this one only has a cover A. Next up from Kenzer and Company, they have Knights of the Dinner Table, issue number 289 coming out, and this one only has a cover A. So continuing on, we have Keen Spot, and they have Ninjas and Robots number 12 coming out. This is cover A, the main cover. We've got a cover B variant, a cover C variant, and now finally a cover D variant. Next publisher on my list this week is Broadsword Comics. They have one coming out, and it's Terret, Witch of the Black Rose. Issue number 130. This is cover A, the main. We've got a cover B variant, a cosplay photo variant, a deluxe litho edition variant, and now finally a 1 in 10 incentive variant. So moving on to Wake Entertainment, they have Essentia, issue number 9 coming out. This is cover A, the main, and followed up with that, we've got a cover B, Judah Christ variant. 
Moving on, we have Black Box Comics, and they have one coming out. It's Shino Kaje, issue number four. At least I think I said that one right. This is cover A, the main cover. We've got a cover B variant, and now finally a cover C variant. So the final small indie publisher I'm going to be going over this week is Chapter House Comics, and they have one coming out. It's Lev Gleason Presents, Captain Canuck, issue number seven, and this one only has a cover A. I told you in the beginning of this video, take full advantage of the chapters list. That is a ton of small indie publishers releasing books this week. I'm definitely going to be getting Moth issue number five and unborn issue number two but there's a lot of really good ones coming out there's a lot of halloween specials so i'm going to keep my eyes open but as of now those are the ones i'm definitely going to be getting so next up let's talk about image comics and boom studios all right, so that trend ain't stopping with Image and Boom. They're about to have very big weeks as well. The first one today from Image is Spawn, issue number 323. This is cover A, the main. We've got a cover B, McFarlane variant, and now finally a cover C, Barons variant. Continuing on, we have Crossover, issue number 9. This is cover A, the main cover. We've got a cover B variant, a John Gallagher variant, a 1 in 25 incentive variant, and now finally a 1 in 50 incentive variant. Moving on, we have Oblivion Song, issue number 34, and this one only has a cover A. I did buy the second hardcover. I haven't read it yet, but I'm really looking forward to it. It's such an awesome series if you can give it a shot. Find the back issues, find the trade paperbacks. The artwork is phenomenal, and I love the storytelling as well. Moving on to the next one, we have Primordial, issue number two, and this one has seven different covers. I loved that first issue. I cannot wait to see where they go with this. This is cover A, the main. We've got a cover B, Walta variant, and now finally a Zoo or Zoo variant A and B set. Next up today from Image is Adventure Man, issue number six, and this one only has a cover A. So continuing on we have echo lands issue number three this is cover a the main cover we've got a cover b oming and soma variant and now finally a raw cut edition variant next one today is the series finale it's mom mother of madness issue number three this one has six different covers this is cover a the main We've got a cover C variant, and now finally a 1 in 100 incentive variant. Next up today from Image is Vinyl, issue number 5. This is cover A, the main cover, and followed up with that, we've got a Hilliard connecting variant A and B set, plus there is a metal variant in there as well. So next up, I've got The Good Asian, issue number 6. This is cover A, the main cover. We've got a cover B Cho variant, and now finally a 1 in 10 incentive variant. Now moving on to this next one, I'm really looking forward to it, and it's the end of the arc. We've got Philadelphia, issue number 18. This is cover A, the main cover, and followed up with that, we've got a cover B, Bisley variant. Moving on, we have that Texas Blood, issue number 11, and this one only has a cover A. So continuing to the next one, we have Mirka and Dolphos, Sweet Paprika, issue number 4. This is cover A, the main cover. We've got a cover B, Tateo variant, a cover C, Tateo variant, a cover D, Penacioli variant, and now finally a cover E, Hot variant. Next one is Chu, issue number 9, and this one only has a cover A. Moving on, we have A Man Among Ye, issue number 7. This is cover A, the main, and followed up with that, we've got a cover B, Riddle variant. Next one on my list this week is Frontiersman, issue number 2. I really enjoyed that first issue. I love the artwork, and the storytelling was great for it as well, and this one only has a cover A. The next one I'm going to be talking about today is Second Chances issue number three and same thing this one only has a cover a as well so images having a massive week i'm definitely going to be getting primordial issue number two Philadelphia issue number 18 and then finally frontiersman issue number two so moving on to boom studios the first one today is once in future issue number 21 this is cover a the main cover We've got a 1 in 10 incentive variant, and now finally a 1 in 25 incentive variant. The next one I'm going to be going over is We Only Find Them When They're Dead, issue number 9. I definitely gave up on this series. Really didn't think it was all that good. The artwork was very cool, though. This is cover A, the main cover. We've got a cover B, Infante variant, and now finally a 1 in 25 incentive variant. So moving on, the next one today from Boom. This is about to be the biggest book of the week, in my opinion. It's the one I'm looking forward to most. We've got House of Slaughter, issue number one, the brand new series from Something is Killing the Children. Now get your wallets ready because this one has 54 different covers. That is insane to me. This is cover A, the main cover. We've got a Sanctum Santorum Comics exclusive variant, and now finally a 1 in 50 Bueno incentive variant be sure to check out online some of the other covers like i said i'm covering cover a and some of the other ones i like but there are 54 other exclusives moving on we have firefly issue number 33 this is cover a the main cover we've got a cover b carpenter variant a 1 in 10 incentive variant, and now finally a 1 in 25 incentive variant next one from boom this week is dark blood issue number four this is cover a the main we've got a cover b variant a john boy myers variant a 1 in 10 incentive, and now finally a 1 in 25 incentive variant. I did give up on this series as well. I feel like I should have continued on to at least maybe issue number 3 to give it a chance, but I really just wasn't enjoying it all that much. 
The final one coming out from Boom Studios this week is Good Luck, issue number five, and this is the series finale for this one. This is cover A, the main cover, and followed up with that, we've got a 1 in 25 incentive variant. Those are all the books from Boom Studios this week. I'm definitely going to be getting House of Slaughter, issue number one. Like I said, I think it's going to be the one book that I'm looking forward to most. Hopefully it gets number one in my Thursday's video. But next up, let's talk about Dark Horse, IDW, and Dynamite. All right, so to kick things off with Dark Horse this week, the first one on my list is Black Hammer, Reborn, issue number five. This is cover A, the main, and followed up with that, we've got a cover B, Ward and Sheehan variant. Moving on, we have Lady Baltimore, issue number five, and this one only has a cover A. So continuing on, Dark Horse, we have Hellboy, The Silver Lantern Club, issue number one. This is a brand new series, and it only has a cover A. The final one coming out from Dark Horse this week is Stranger Things, Tomb of Yewin, issue number two. This is cover A, the main. We've got a cover B, Wingard variant, a cover C back variant, and now finally a cover D Sarmento variant. Those are all the books coming out from Dark Horse this week. I don't plan on grabbing any of them. So moving on to IDW, the first one today is Sonic the Hedgehog, issue number 46. This is cover A, the main. We've got a cover B variant, and now finally a 1 in 10 incentive variant. Moving on, we have Star Wars The High Republic Adventures, The Monster of Temple Peak, issue number 3, and this one only has a cover A. So continuing on, we have The Transformers, issue number 36. This is cover A, the main cover. We've got a cover B PAL variant, and now finally a 1 in 10 incentive variant. Moving on to the next one, we have Usagi Yojimbo, issue number 23. This is cover A, the main, and followed up with that, we've got a 1 in 10 incentive variant. Next up today from IDW is G.I. Joe, A Real American Hero, issue number 287. This is cover A, the main cover. We've got a cover B variant, and now finally, a 1 in 10 incentive variant. Next up today from them is Transformers, Beast Wars, issue number 9. This is cover A, the main cover. We've got a cover B, Tramontano variant, and now finally, a 1 in 10 incentive variant. The final one from IDW this week is Transformers, Shattered Glass, issue number 3. This is cover A, the main. We've got a cover B, Osseo variant, a Hasbro Pulse Pack in variant, and now finally a 1 in 10 incentive variant. But those are all the books from IDW. I don't plan on grabbing any of them either. So moving on to Dynamite, the first one today is Vengeance of Vampirella, issue number 23. This one has 14 different covers. This is cover A, the main. We've got a cover D variant, and now finally a cover K variant. Next up today from them is Barbarella, issue number 4. This one has 18 different covers. This is cover A, the main cover. We've got a cover B variant, and now finally a cover D variant. Moving on, we have Sony Universal, issue number 9. This one has 16 different covers. This is cover A, the main. We've got a cover D variant, and now finally a cover E variant. Next up today from them is a Game of Thrones, Clash of Kings, issue number 15. This is cover A, the main. We've got a cover B variant, a 1 in 10 incentive, a 1 in 20 incentive, and now finally a 1 in 25 incentive variant. The final one from Dynamite this week is Dejah Thoris vs. John Carter of Mars, issue number 4. This one has 15 different covers. This is cover A. We've got a cover C variant, and now finally a cover L variant. I don't plan on grabbing any of them from Dynamite, so next up, let's talk about DC Comics. Alright, so the first one today from DC is Detective Comics, issue number 1044. This is a Fear State tie-in, and it does feature a backup story. This is cover A, the main cover, and followed up with that, we've got a Lee Bermejo variant. Moving on, we have Robin, issue number 7. This is cover A, the main cover, and followed up with that, we've got a cover B variant for this one. Continuing on with DC, we have another Fear State tie-in. We've got Harley Quinn, issue number 8. This is cover A, the main cover, and followed up with that, we've got a Derek Chu variant. Next up today from them is Wonder Girl, issue number 4. This is cover A, the main cover, and followed up with that, we've got a cover B, Campbell Cardstock variant. Now moving on to this next one, this is just a Halloween special. We've got Batman, the Long Halloween special, issue number 1. This is cover A, the main. We've got a cover B sale variant, and now finally a 1 in 25 sale incentive variant. Continuing on, we have a brand new series coming out. It's Task Force Z, issue number 1. This one features 11 different covers. This is cover A, the main. We've got a Migliari retailer team incentive variant, and now finally a 1 in 100 HOTS incentive variant. Up next from DC, we have another brand new series coming out. It is limited to 12 issues, though. It's DC vs. Vampires, issue number 1. This one has 13 different covers. This is cover A, the main. We've got a cover B Matina cardstock variant, and now finally a Matina variant B exclusive. Moving on, we have Checkmate, issue number 5, and in this issue it says that Damon Rose's identity is revealed, so be on the lookout for that if you are a speculator or you're just reading the series. 
This is cover A, the main cover, and followed up with that, we've got a cover B cardstock variant. Next up today from DC is Deathstroke Inc., issue number two. This is cover A, the main cover, and followed up with that, we've got a cover B cardstock variant. Next up today is Wonder Woman, black and gold, issue number five. This is cover A, the main cover, we've got a cover B variant, and now finally, a 1 in 25 Besh incentive variant. Moving on, we have Aquaman, The Becoming, issue number two. This is cover A, the main cover, and followed up with that, we've got a Randolph cardstock variant. Moving on, the next one I'm going to be going over is Mr. Miracle, The Source of Freedom, issue number six. This is cover A, the main cover, and followed up with that, we've got a cover B cardstock variant. This next one I'm going to be going over is a new series. We've got Aquaman, Green Arrow, Deep Target, issue number Number one, this is cover A, the main cover. We've got an in hook Lee variant, and now finally a one in 25 Ivan Rise cardstock incentive variant. Next up from DC is Icon and Rocket season one, issue number four. This is cover A, the main cover, and followed up with that, we've got a cover B cardstock variant. Moving on, we have Hardware season one, issue number three. This is cover A, the main cover, and followed up with that, we've got a cover B Cohen cardstock variant. Now for this next one, it is just a one shot. It's Batman Fortnite one shot, issue number one. It includes a digital code for a Fortnite outfit, so if you're still playing that game, definitely pick this one up. This is cover A, the main cover. We've got a cover B Garner variant, and now finally a 1 in 25 Mustard Incentive variant. The final one coming out from DC this week is Ruby Justice League, issue number 7. This is cover A the main, and followed up with that, we've got a cover B cardstock variant. So that's a ton of books coming out from DC this week, a lot of new ones as well. It's definitely going to be a very heavy week for me with all these other publishers, but I might be grabbing the DC vs. Vampires issue number 1. Looks really cool, so I'm probably going to give it a shot, but next up, let's finish this video up with Marvel Comics. Alright, so to kick things off with Marvel this week, the first issue on my list is The Amazing Spider-Man, issue number 77. This one has seven different covers. This is cover A, the main. We've got a Marvel Masterpiece variant, and now finally a Lucio Perillo variant A and B set. Moving on from there, we have Daredevil, issue number 35. This is cover A, the main, and followed up with that, we've got a Just Go variant. Next one on my list this week is Wolverine, issue number 17, and this one does have six different covers. This is cover A, the main. We've got a Stormbreakers Venomized variant, and now finally a 1 in 25 Daniel Incentive variant. Next one today is Moon Knight, issue number 4, and I love those first three issues. I highly recommend reading this series. This one has six different covers. This is cover A, the main. We've got a Stormbreakers variant, and now finally a Del Auto Virgin variant. Moving on, we have Marauders, issue number 25. This is cover A, the main cover. We've got a Marvel Masterpieces variant A and B set, and followed up with that, we've got an Endolfo variant. Next one today is Star Wars, Darth Vader, issue number 17, and this is the conclusion of the War of the Bounty Hunters story arc in the Darth Vader series. This is cover A, the main. We've got a Carbonite variant, a Sprouse Lucasfilm 50th Anniversary variant, and now finally a Friends variant. Moving on to the next one today is Inferno, issue number two. This one has eight different covers. This is cover A, the main. We've got a Deckle variant, and now finally a Marvel Masterpiece variant. Continuing on with Marvel this week, we have Sword, issue number nine, and it does say in the description that this does have a possible first appearance of the all-new Lethal Legion team. This is cover A, the main. We've got a Marvel Masterpieces variant, and now finally a Davi Go variant. Continuing on, we have Black Widow, issue number 12. This is cover A, the main cover, and followed up with that, we've got a Just Go variant. Now, this next issue is the end of the arc for those of you reading it. We have Spider-Woman, issue number 16. This is cover A, the main cover. We've got a Liefeld Deadpool 30th anniversary variant, and now finally a 1 in 25 Zetro incentive variant. Next one today is Darkhold Blade, issue number 1. This is cover A, the main. We've got a Casanova's Blade connecting variant a Stormbreaker's Venomized variant, a Tormi Design variant, and now finally a 1 in 25 Suyon Incentive variant. The final one coming out from Marvel this week is a War of the Bounty Hunters tie-in. We've got Star Wars, War of the Bounty Hunters, IG-88, issue number one. This is cover A, the main cover. We've got a Carbonite variant, a Friends variant, a Wingard variant, and now finally a 1 in 25 Height Incentive variant. So those are all the issues coming out from Marvel this week. I'm going to be getting ASM, issue number 77, Moon Knight, issue number 4, and Black Widow issue number 12. So now let's do a recap of the comics. So what do you guys think about this week's upcoming new comic book day? Definitely a very heavy week for books, but I'd say the one book that I'm looking forward to most is going to be House of Slaughter issue number one. You already know I love Something is Killing the Children, and I've got very high hopes for this one. But be sure to let me know down below in the comments section which ones you're looking forward to most, and which ones you think I should be picking up as well. And thank you for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And if you don't want to miss out on any of my upcoming content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below, and the little bell to get notified every time I drop new content, you won't regret read it and i've got two more videos sitting off to the side here with more of my comic book content click on one of those and i'll see you in the next one have a great day